This Teachable Moment is brought to you by the Jewish Healthcare Foundation and the Pittsburgh Regional Health Initiative. This Teachable Moment describes EHR implementation through the experiences of one local practice. Prior to using the EHR, the management of a patient in the office was, looking back on it, really quite cumbersome. It required us to flip through a chart, to look at flow sheets, to look at medical records, correspondences from other physicians, radiology data, uh, laboratory data, handwrite prescriptions. It requires uh, a tremendous amount of process to make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. I think there is probably a better way to do that, and, and that is certainly facilitated by an electronic health record. Anytime you attempt to implement an EHR, it's very important to have staff input and involvement and buy-in. The first thing I did to get the staff engaged was I had a very positive attitude about the whole implementation of the electronic medical record. It's critically important that you explain to staff prior to the implementation process the reason for the implementation, the advantages to it, and the necessity to, quote, get it right. One of our concerns were that a lot of our rooms were not perfectly set up for electronic health records, so that many times, Hi, Ms. Jones, how are you doing today? Good. I was initially struggling while I typed in uh, patients' responses and not really making eye contact with the patient. And I think patients were more than willing to grin and bear the learning curve that we all experienced as we implemented the EHR. So how have you been feeling? Pretty good. You know, and I did forget to tell the girls that um, I've been having some joint pain in my knees. How's your diabetes been? I think pretty good. Good. I think our EHR has permitted us to manage certain disease states in a more efficient fashion. There are a variety of prompts in our flow sheets that help us manage the routine care of diabetic patients. Our hemoglobin A1Cs, our health maintenance on those patients has been improved. As you implement an EHR and, and, act, and actually live in an EHR, you'll find that paper is the bane of your existence. Having recognized that, we contacted St. Clair Hospital, which is where the majority of us admit. They were very helpful in creating what has proved to be a valuable interface for us. Uh, they really had a desire to create a completely electronic environment. And to achieve that, uh, the information has to flow from the hospital system and from other sources of information uh, directly into their uh, electronic health record. And once it's in there electronically, it, it enables them to operate much more quickly, more efficiently. It really streamlines workflow for the practice. The, the concept of meaningful use obviously just came out with the new uh, ARRA uh, law. Practices that actually are looking for ERA money or looking for subsidy for their EHR, I think should understand that just the basic functioning of an EHR probably will not meet meaningful use. And so there are many things that they're going to have to do to enhance their EHR after the implementation to actually achieve meaningful use, whether it be a patient portal, whether it be digital faxing, or actually whether it's e-prescribed modules that have to be implemented. When we initially implemented the EHR, we were unsure as to what particular hits we were gonna to take to our revenue stream. I think on average you can count on six to eight weeks before you can actually expect to be as productive in the EHR as you were prior to the EHR. The eight weeks will be a very painful process. What the future will bring is what's called HIE, Health Information Exchange, such that St. Clair and the physician practices and other uh, healthcare providers in the region won't submit point to point, but they will submit into a repository. I think any physician that wants to embark on this venture has to understand that it's an ongoing process and that we, even a 30 physician group five years in, are making changes to the system as we go. After five years of an EHR, I can't envision practicing in a paper world. I think our patients are much better off in this world.